What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we are going to unbox the Freenies Hidden Dissectables One Piece Series 3 by Mighty Jacks. Previously I had unboxed and talked about the Series 2 so if you missed that video and want to see how those figures look like you can just go and check it out but today we are focusing on this new series it was released uh, not too long ago I think one or two weeks back and the focus, as you can see this time around, it is on Chopper and his different transformations, his different points. And at the bottom, you can see what are those points. We have the brain point. I think this is the same image as the big Chopper right in the middle here. You have the gut point, walk point, kung fu point, horn point, and heavy point. And we also have an ultra rare chaser. So based on the silhouette, you can tell this is just a version of the walk point. So as you can see, they're just focusing on his points post time skip. They're not doing any uh, pre time skip over here. And hopefully in this box, I think we will get at least one of each. I think that's how it's supposed to work since there should be six boxes inside. By the way, I was also invited by Mighty Jax to do an unveiling and unboxing of this series and that video should be coming out on their channel I think by next week or so. You guys should definitely go and check it out because they will be doing a giveaway. Okay, before we open it up, let's take a quick look at the outer box here first. Uh, it's brand new, it's still in the string wrap and here with a One Piece logo, image of the Brain Points Chopper, the series name, we have a nice kind of Chopper logo stem over here and I said all the different points below. Towards the side we have enlarged images of the figures we are getting so you can have a better look. I think it is the same for the other side. At the bottom here we also have the One Piece logo and the series name. By the way, the background design of the box kind of have this yellow background with Chopper's hooves on them so it's really really cute. At the top here, we have the Mighty Jacks logo, Toei logo, I think this is the Jason Freenies logo, and this is probably an authentication sticker as well. And at the back, we have the Jolly Roger of Chopper. So this is how it looks like, and let me take out the string wrap. There you go, the outer box can be displayed like a tray, so like how you see them if you go to the anime shop, the figure shop, and you just want to buy an individual piece. And we'll just take a quick look at how the small individual boxes look like, how the design look like. Right at the front here, we have a similar design to the outside, Brain Point Chopper as well, the One Piece logo, series name. Towards the side here, we have the images of all the six versions. Over here, the other side, we have the ultra rare silhouettes. And the back is the same as the front. The top, you get a One Piece logo. At the bottom here, we have the Freenies authentication sticker as well as the Toei sticker. Okay, it's time we do the unboxing. I'm just gonna take out all the figures first. We have six boxes, so we should be getting one of each at the very least. Hopefully. And let's go. The first one, let's see what we are going to get. Again, I want to be very careful with taking out. I don't want to damage the boxes as far as possible. Looks kind of big, no idea what it is. Could be one of the bigger designs and it is sealed as you can see over here in this white packaging. And over here we have the base and we also have, I think this is the, the card you know of what we are getting we can open this up later and we also have this kind of like a you know there are instructions that tells you how to authenticate and register your item by peeling off this sticker and scanning it in the mighty jacks app so i'll keep this for now and shall we just open this first or shall we open this i think we should open this right it's more exciting and let's see let's see Are you ready folks? This is... Oh! We got the walk point straight away. The first one, walk point. This is OG form chopper as a reindeer. And man, it actually looks really really cool. I've seen them before actually because I did the filming with Mighty Jacks, but you know looking at them now again after some time it is still so cool. Okay, so this is our first one. Second box. Oh 
Okay. Can you guys guess which points I'm looking forward to the most? Make a guess. If I unbox it, I will say it out of course. If you've been a long time follower of me, maybe you will know what points I like. Okay, so this is the next one. I'll just go straight to taking this out. Can't tell from the weight actually. <laughs> like what we are getting. Let's see, let's see. Oh. Oh. Once I see that fat body, we all know what it is. This is the Kung Fu Point. Okay, not bad, not bad. Kung Fu Points. I know a lot of people hate Kung Fu Points <laughs> because this is the, the most common form that Chopper uses all the time. And everyone thinks that, you know, he has a lot more other forms to use. But keep that for now. We'll go on to the next box first. Third one. My favorite points haven't come out yet. Not a lot of choices left, right? <laughs> Let's see what we have here. Again, no idea, but... Hmm... Based on the shape, maybe... Horn point? Or heavy point? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hopefully no repeats. This is heavy point. Alright, and this is actually one of the points that I like the most out of this series. I just love how uh, kind of, you know, fierce looking Chopper is. The scary looking and badass version of him looks awesome. We'll take a closer look later. Fourth box. We have uh, three points left. Brain points. Um... What's the other one? Horn points and guard points. Okay. Right. This feels skinny. I think this is likely to be the horn point. Let's see, let's go, let's go. What are we gonna get? Am I right? I am right. It is the horn point. And there we go. Very cute, kind of teenage looking chopper. And I gotta say, all these figures are very well protected with the blisters. I don't think uh, we're gonna have any issues with them. And we're gonna move on to the last two boxes. I wonder if we will get the ultra rare. But if we don't, I still have a trick up my sleeve. Fifth box. Looks quite small, so... I think this should be... Undoubtedly, the brain point. <laughs> it feels really small and light. And we are right. We are definitely right. And look at Chopper. So cute. Like a small little boy. Last one. And this should be my other favorite point. The gut point. Hopefully it is. Hopefully I get the complete set. Looks big and round. I think this is definitely it. This is probably the only one that you can sort of just feel the size just by holding it. Uh, let's see. And we have our gut point. This is the second one that I'm looking forward to the most out of this whole set of six. And he is just absolutely adorable. So we're now taking out all the six boxes. Let's go for the close-ups. We will start off with Brain Point, and each one of these figures come with a character card, which is inside the silver foil we saw. And for this version, it is red in color. This is how the back looks like. And you can just display the card next to the figure, or you know, have them all uh, together in some display. I think that would look great. And for the figure itself, this chopper, this is the most uh, common form we always see chopper in. And he looks extremely cute here, just sort of like holding his, his backpack like a schoolboy. And this style, if you're not familiar, you basically have 
uh, chopper in a half and half look. Half normal version and the other half is sort of like see-through. This is Jason Freeney's style and you can see the skeleton, the intestines inside the details are all quite amazing and generally I must say it is rather clean I don't see any you know errands painting or weird finishing around as far as I can tell so I won't spend too much time talking about the details I think what you can see on the camera is uh, is what it is and by the way the base is similar to the one from series 2 and series 1 this is supposed to mimic the wooden decks of the ship and I believe for series 3 this series 3 you can connect the base with the ones from series 2 series 1 I'm not so sure I think it's not possible but because everyone gave feedback to them so they decided to at least make it connectable to the series 2 and let's see what else we can tell from this figure we have the brace over here sort of like the broken uh, antler on the left side and the cheekbones is curved that fits chopper's face shape and it's a bit loose so I've got a hole in the bottom here and the hooves black in color oops there you go it just came out and usually if you leave it on a table I think it's fine but because it's kind of heavy especially towards the top the weight is throwing it towards the side and I'll just give you a quick 360 uh, the helmet the cap of chopper the back at the back with the cross this is the post time skip outfit Generally, this chopper just looks so innocent and you just kind of want to pet him on the head. Here we have the gut point and this is the character card, orange in color. This is the back and honestly, this is the most adorable chopper out of this whole set in my opinion. It is just so cute and we know that for gut points, basically it's just his fur that expands and acts as a you know, defense, as a cushion. And the way uh, Mighty Jax has designed this chopper is kind of chopper just chilling and uh, laying in his fur, in his coat. But if you look at him like this, it's just kind of, it's almost like he's sitting on a couch. So it is really, really cute. And by looking at this part of his body, the see-through part, you can just tell sort of how uh, he is supposed to look like inside of the fur. So it is absolutely adorable, it is so amazing, I love this so much. Other than that, details wise, they should be rather similar to the brain points. Maybe just the head being smaller, but that could be due to the design, you know, to get the whole size of the gut points. But the skeleton, the organs and intestines, they all look similar. The horns, the antlers. Yeah, basically what you can see, and it's kind of light, you know, it's not as heavy as, for example, Jinbei from the previous series. So it's not too heavy, and this is how the fur, the coat is sculpted. I'll just give you a quick 360. And I think that this will look good like anywhere. You could just put it on, you know, your, your PC desk, uh, put it in your car, <laughs> or anywhere else. Just this chopper chilling down there, it's gonna look amazing. Like. Honestly, I can't stop saying how cute he is here. This definitely will be a great gift to any Chopper fan. <laughs> oh boy. Next, we have the Horn Point. The character card here is green in color. And this is the back. And of course, Horn Points, we do have a POP. I had reviewed that quite some time back. So this is the Mighty Jacks version, Jason Freeney style. And yeah, you know, this is the style that I like a lot in the in the in the story, but I don't think Chopper used this form since Fishman Island, if I'm correct, which is kind of a waste. Uh, I really like this design. And he looks like his age, you know, as a teenager, I think like what, 17 post time skip, if I'm getting that right. So obviously. In this form, he has those enlarged horns, enlarged antlers. Over here, you also have uh, some fur around the forearm, and his hooves become like claws. Same for same for the feet over there. The organs and intestines should be still the same. Uh, the skeleton is also the skull. I mean, it is around the same shape as the one before, just that the eyes are a lot bigger here. I'm not sure if that is exactly accurate to how he appears in the story but from what I can tell now it's definitely bigger than 
uh, the one on the brain points. So he looks more anime-ish here. And he has that little smirk, a little bit of that teenage confidence. And I'll just quickly show you guys 360 again. This is the proper side. And all the details on the fur here and the back. All quite amazing for such a small figure. Definitely better than I think the WCF when it compares size to size for this type of range. Here we have the heavy point and the character card is dark blue in color. Pretty amazing. And this version of Chopper, this is my favorite out of all the six. The guard point is really cute, it's adorable, but I generally just like Chopper looking badass, looking fierce. This is of course how he looks like post time skip, with uh, this ring around his neck and no antlers. This is his human form, and of course he looks really serious here, he looks uh, really fierce, and his head is wider than the ones that we've seen before, and of course the expression over here just means business for Chopper. And I like how he's kind of like in a boxing pose, ready to punch. I really like uh, this stance here. I think there's something interesting here because when I always thought of this ring around him, I always thought it's fur. But based on the colouring uh, by Mighty Jack's design, it seems that it is supposed to be meat based on the way they colour it, which is the, the meat and our muscle colour. So not sure if that's 100% accurate. It seems more like fur to me though, so it could be um, you know miscoloring or something. Uh, but I'll be very surprised if it's supposed to be him having a, a ring of meat around his neck. I think that would be very funny. Other than that, um, obviously he has that amazing uh, torso, muscular, kind of like a V shape, and you can just see how the rest of the, the internal structure look like. The fist, now we have like a human hand, five fingers, and over here, the muscles, and this is the back, the back muscles. You can see some of the, the grooves they added to just show how it is contoured, quite amazing. And I wish that, you know, maybe P.O.P. can give us either a pre-time skip or post-time skip chopper, maybe playback memories. Just him in this form because I really, really dig the pre time skip heavy point chopper. I think that he looks the most badass and fierce there. Next up, we have the Kung Fu points, and this is the purple character card. And for this form, we have no shortage of figures. I think we have the POP and also the Ichiban Kuji. And a lot of people hate this form because he appears in this the most and people hate the design. For me, it's okay. The main thing that I dislike is just him kind of always shouting like Bruce Lee when he fights. I think that's just too much and a bit over the top. Uh, but the design-wise, it's okay for me. And it's interesting because if you look at how he looks like inside, the skull, it becomes like a box head, more squarish, uh, that gives off this look. and. The helmet or the cap sort of also shifts according to the head shape. So it's very interesting, very angular skull. And this is the eye. Very big, similar to the one we saw on the horn point. And of course we have those fat arms, chubby arms over here with the hoof. And the skeleton is also wider, like the inside body is just bigger overall. So I think across all the forms, it's much easier to see the details on the, the intestine and the organs over here, the lungs. So you can see that for yourself. Okay, I'll do a quick 360. Horns are really small in this point and the ears are also, oops, also very small as well. The, all the figures are kind of top heavy so it easily comes off the base especially when you're handling it. So be careful. But if you leave it on a table, I don't think that is a problem. Over here, you can see how round he is. Lastly, we have the walk point, and this is the yellow character card. So this is Chopper in his OG form as a reindeer. So the antlers, they are kind of like how it's supposed to be 
I guess, <laughs> in his animal form. And his expression here is kind of neutral, like nothing really specific compared to the rest. So the snout, I'm not sure if that's the right word to use for a reindeer, but you know, the mouth is kind of pointing outwards, like how it is supposed to be. Um, and the rest of it, I think the head, yeah, kind of similar to maybe the brain points, just that it is more obvious that the ears are pointing downwards. And of course his body changes as well, so the shape of the skeleton and probably some of the organs, how they are positioned. I think this might be the heart, this little red thing here that we couldn't see on the previous forms. And the back is towards the back. So I'll just turn to this side so you can see the fur right at the front. And over here, how the back is strapped towards his body. And also the back legs. I do think that for this form, they could have made him more reindeer-like. Similar to how he first appeared post timescape while he was just uh, waiting for the rest of the crew to gather. And as a bonus surprise, I actually have the ultra rare chaser here. The winter edition walk point. And this is the character card, which looks special as well. You can see that the background is kind of like a drum island. I think that's the whole point. And I believe the inspiration for this is also, you know, drum island with the snow, etc. And you can see that the idea is kind of a translucent see-through chopper. And you have this kind of purple paint towards some of the areas, towards the hooves, uh, the body, the antlers and the transition from dark to light, quite well done. Uh, the cap is also light or violet in colour. I think you can see it's violet instead of purple. And if all this kind of uh, winter, what do you call this, like the snowflakes printed onto the cap, which looks amazing, gives it the drum island feel. And actually if you look closely, some areas are also blue in colour, like towards the bottom of the cap. So they did play with the colours a bit on this version. And the rest of it, for design-wise, it is similar to the normal walk point. So you basically just have this see-through translucent uh, style. And this is the back. It looks amazing. I really like the way they've done the colours. I'll just bring in the normal walk point version so you can have some side-by-side -side comparison of how they kind of look like. Okay, and I'm not sure what are the odds for this. I believe it is 1 out of 24, but I might be getting it wrong, so please refer to the official sources. I believe when the Mighty Jacks video, when it comes out officially, they will mention it over there. So yeah, this is a really special version and you probably will need a good amount of luck to get him uh, when you buy the trays and you get the pieces. Here I've taken out some other figures so we can do some quick comparison. And here we have from series 2, the ultra rare chaser, the sakura chopper. And even though these two forms, they are supposed to be the same, the brain points, the hybrid version, you can tell that stylistically they are still quite different. So I guess you know, maybe Mighty Jacks, they don't want to keep coming out with chopper figures but keeping them the same. This is Usopp from WCF, in case those of you are wondering how this series compares to the size of the WCF figures. I hope this gives you a good enough comparison. And for the heights for this series 3, they range from around 6cm to almost 9cm depending on what forms you're looking at. Maybe the taller ones like the walk points and the horn points with the horns going up, those will reach about 9cm. Alright guys, that's pretty much all I want to say for this series. All in all, I think that this set is really really cute and like I said, I adore the gut point. <laughs> he just looks amazing there. And I also like the badass heavy points. And quality wise, I think they definitely maintain based on what I saw from series 2. I like that. Uh, and definitely a lot better than, you know, who I'm talking about. And uh, of course, if you are a Chopper fan, most likely I think you will be getting this set. Because uh, it's very rare to have all the points, all the forms of Chopper together. They also have the monster point, I believe. 
I'm not sure if that is still uh, still on sale or what but if you have basically the monster point towering behind them I think the all seven of them will look great as a display together all right once again as a reminder there will be a mighty jacks video coming out on this series I think it's most likely next week or the week after so they will be doing a giveaway if you want to stand a chance to win go ahead to the video uh, they will tell you how you can try your luck and as usual let me know what you guys think in the comments section below tell me which one is your favorite let me see if it's the same as mine and if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share them with your friends and if you're new here you like what i'm doing don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notifications button so you don't miss out on new videos like this thank you guys so much for spending your time with me i will see you very soon goodbye